Shocking CCTV footage shows the terrifying moment a barbaric Russian missile appears to smash into the city council building in Ukraine's second largest city, killing at least 10 people. The video, taken at around 8 a.m. local time, shows the airstrike hitting the government office in Kharkiv, followed by a powerful explosion. The force of the blast seriously damaged cars and shattered windows of nearby buildings in Independence Square. At least 10 people were killed in the attack and another 35 people injured, although there are fears the death toll will increase as search parties continue to look through rubble. Interior Ministry Advisor Anton Hereshchenko said in a post on social media, the rubble is being cleared and there will be even more victims and wounded. Among those killed in the shelling of the eastern Ukrainian city was an Indian student, according to the country's foreign ministry, which has stepped up demands for its nationals to be given safe passage out of Ukraine. Spokesman Arindam Bagki added the ministry was in touch with the family of the student, who he did not name. Footage taken nearby showed the devastation caused by the airstrike as shocked residents recorded what was left of their apartments. Kharkiv region head Oleg Sinagubov confirmed earlier today Russian missile attacks hit the center of the city, including residential areas and the city administration building. Other reports suggest the bulk of the damage was caused to the square itself, with images showing burnt out cars and rubble in the street. The building remains standing but damage can be seen and multiple windows are blown out. Ukrainian officials previously said at least 11 people have been killed by enemy missiles launched towards Kharkiv as of February 28, Mr. Sinagubov said, the Russian enemy is shelling entire residential areas of Kharkiv, where there is no critical infrastructure, where there are no positions of the armed forces of Ukraine that the Russians could aim at. Such attacks are genocide of the Ukrainian people, a war crime against the civilian population. He added that, despite the onslaught, the city was holding. Ukraine's foreign minister Dmytro Kuleba has called for more international sanctions against Russia after what he said was a barbaric attack on the city of Kharkiv. He said on social media, barbaric Russian missile strikes on the central Freedom Square and residential districts of Kharkiv. Putin is unable to break Ukraine down. He commits more war crimes out of fury, murders innocent civilians. The world can and must do more. Increase pressure, isolate Russia fully. It comes after more than 70 Ukrainian servicemen were killed when Vladimir Putin's forces shelled a military base in Ukraine's northeastern Sumy region on Monday. Meanwhile Amnesty International has slammed Russia's use of cluster munitions on a nursery and kindergarten which they say killed three people, including a child, on Friday. More than 100 countries have committed never to use the weapons under the Convention on Cluster Munitions, including the UK, but neither Russia nor Ukraine have signed the agreement. Agnes Kalamard, Secretary General of Amnesty International, said, It is stomach turning to see an indiscriminate attack on a nursery and kindergarten where civilians are seeking safe haven. Plain and simple, this should be investigated as a war crime.